Cambridge is one of the older cities in the United States. It was founded in 1636. And like a lot of the older cities in the country, um, the drainage and sewer systems were built as combined sewer systems. Over time, we've come to realize that there are significant public health issues associated with systems like, that function like that. And so for the last 50 years, the city has been um, separating its drainage and sewer systems. In the recent past, we've been trying to do this work in the Owlwife watershed in the city. And we've had some real challenges in how, how best to do this primarily around how best to attenuate stormwater so that we don't cause additional flooding in downstream areas of the community. And as a result of that, we've come up with a unique solution in the city, and that is building a stormwater wetland in the Alwife Reservation. MWH developed a computer model first ever for the city, and we computed the amount of flows coming out of typical storms, and we concluded that the, the drainage would, could not be satisfied. We had to add extra pipes to convey the extra flow. That extra flow could only be solved by putting flow into a green wetland facility further on downstream. You have a four bay at the start of a wetland, and that allows for sedimentation. Essentially, it allows those heavier sediments um, that are in the stormwater as it's conveyed into the wetland settle out of suspension and then at a subsequent point in time be collected uh, manually by equipment uh, that the city um, uses in that space. Beyond that, you have absorption by the plant materials in the wetland itself. Again, this is where materials actually is taken out by frictional forces from the stormwater as it flows through the space. And then finally you have phytoremediation where the nutrients and chemical constituents of the water are taken up by the plants and removed from the water before it's discharged to the Little River. And there's over 120,000 new wetland plants that we created within the wetland and over 4,000 upland plants of shrubs and trees. So it helps bring the community back down to the river's edge and it opens up an area for them to passively recreate. They can enjoy the wildlife, they can enjoy the beautiful reservation and understand its connection to the river system. We have boardwalks, we have bike paths, we have an amphitheater created in this space so that you know, people in the evenings can stroll around this space and get away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Children can be brought there for educational tours and people can experience nature in a real way immediately adjacent to the city itself. Throughout the wetland when we were building it, we created little markers. We have boulders with etchings on them that have some of the wildlife that's here or some of the plant materials and those have been bla stone blasted into these boulders. But we've also added some pieces of words that provided some insight into the history of the area. This project allows the Massachusetts Water Resource Authority to satisfy the, the court ordered Clean Harbor Program requirements imposed in 1993 and it completely satisfies all those requirements. So this project serves as an example of imagination, rigorous technical application, and a lot of hard work. We expect to use this project to exemplify what it is that the city stands for in terms of environmental appropriateness in an urban space with regard to stormwater and resource protection. It's one of those gems. It has such an important function to us as engineers to, to know that it's doing its job by being a sponge and soaking up that storm water, but it also is going to create that long-term benefit for the community.